Hi, hi, I'm Colleen Bates. I um, am the uh, I'm a writer, uh, but really a publisher of Prospect Park Books in Altadena. My business has been in Altadena for a few years, and we just moved to Altadena about three months ago. So although not as egregiously as unique, the word inevitable is all too often misused. Think about it. Only one step in any process can actually be inevitable. If, for example, you say it was inevitable that you're going to be a lawyer because everyone in your family is a lawyer, a lot of things would have to go a certain way for you to become a lawyer, like getting into law school concerns. So objectively, it was not inevitable that I would end up in Altadena. Not by a long shot. My life plan at 21 called for settling in Santa Monica. Yet in retrospect, every step along the way makes it seem like Altadena was the only possible outcome. I grew up in the 60s and 70s in Los Angeles, and when I was a teenager, I thought Pasadena was where fun went to die. As for Altadena, I didn't even know it existed. Cut to 1992, when my husband and I had a toddler, and we were worrying about the then limited school options in our Silver Lake neighborhood, plus the fact that we lacked a child-friendly yard. Friends with young children had just bought a house in Pasadena, and so I, I did the once unthinkable and started looking east. Right away, I fell in love with Altadena. Its architectural diversity and richness, its trees, its quiet, its quirkiness. But the extra 15 minutes drive up the hill would have added a half an hour a day to our already stressful commutes. So we found a beautiful freeway adjacent West Pasadena home and burrowed in for 28 years. But Altadena kept calling. First came the hikes that I'd take with my dog and my friends, Cheney Trail and Sam Merrill and Altadena Crest. Next was the lure of the Altania Town and Country Club, which we joined in 2001 so we could play tennis and our kids could swim. When I dropped the kids for swim team, my dog and I would fill the hours by walking the oak and pine dappled streets above the club, and I'd pick a new favorite house on every single walk. The next step in the path toward inevitability came in 2012 when my older, older daughter graduated from college and found a little rental house to share with her girlfriend in Altadena. They worried that it would be too provincial for 20-somethings, but they fell in love with it. Two years later, I had the opportunity to buy a small piece of commercial real estate. My budget was too modest for Pasadena, so I fo focused, of course, on Altadena, and I found a neglected three-unit building on Lincoln, renovated it, and turned it into the home of Prospect Park Books, my, my business, and the studios of two talented photographers. Bit by bit, Altadena was sinking its hooks in me. This year, in an unexpected frenzy of activity, our two daughters and daughter-in-law bought a two-on-a-lot fixer-upper in Altadena, moving in just before the pandemic hit. And with my husband's retirement, no more commute, and the pandemic-enforced change in lifestyle, we started keeping an eye out for the perfect empty nester house, close to ATCC, our daughters, and our soon-to-arrive grandson. Talk about sinking the hooks in. I found the dream house on the corner of Meadowbrook and Sinaloa, uh, and it all happened so fast that it hasn't quite sunk in. And yet, really, it has been sinking in for nearly three decades, the inevitability of Altadena are unintended and yet totally predictable forever home.